Hey, what's going on folks? It's Smith for the win here playing Castleburn. Now guys, I absolutely love this new game that I just downloaded. I've been playing it all day. Uh, and as you can see, they're celebrating 1 million downloads. So the operation team was so gracious to grant me a whole slot load of gems and a new card. Uh, the Minotaur. New card I just obtained, so uh, another Minotaur so I can upgrade him now. Um, I wanted to go ahead and just show some gameplay and kind of talk through it if I can, kind of like a let's play sort of thing for you guys that are kind of looking at the game and wondering, well, what's it all about? Now, just to reveal, I got a couple of hero cards, some tier one cards, uh, some tier two cards, and some tier three cards. Don't worry, I'm going to explain it all if you're not familiar with this sort of thing. Uh, for me, RTSs, I can't really act like I played a whole lot of them, like... I play a lot of Clash Royale, so that's kind of like what prompted me to download this game. And also Facebook. Facebook, these guys uh, behind the game actually did a good job of advertising on Facebook. That's how I finally downloaded it. So. Alright. I like the fact that you can emote. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I got mana collecting on the left-hand side. And I am dropping down a mana spring, a mana collector, I guess, on top of the mana spring. And I'm going to go ahead and add some defense, a uh, archer tower. Now, I'm sending my hero to the other side to reveal what is going on uh, here. Okay, oh, and of course, the if you didn't know, the tower kind of has its own defense. But now I'm building a, my own archer tower, and I'm building a camp. Uh, already, I have a capacity of 10. When I build each camp, it adds another capacity of 10. So now I can send out uh, 20 troops. Now, uh, I can now add troops from my cards to kind of like my roster, I guess. Now I'm going to send this guy out again to see if there's been any progress on the other side. Um, and uh, not yet. So we'll just... Return him. All I'm doing here, guys, is hitting the return button on the side right there. It says cancel right now. And I just want to spend this time trying to get as set up as I can. Uh, this is kind of what happens. So they're sending someone over here, and he is coming to try to chop down my tower. I got some archers going on, and you see they're on a raised terrain, so they're a little hard to get to. Uh, I'm dropping these goblins because, uh, well, as you can see, they only cost 8 mana. And uh, so that's one thing you want to do is kind of conserve your mana if you can. Don't drop a big, high-cost mana troop, especially this early in the game. Try to reserve your mana. Now, I've just activated my hero's ability, which is a shield, which is pretty useful. And we're kind of coming through wrecking what they had going on on their end. So now, I'm in tier 2. My castle has been upgraded, and I'm going to add two of my tier 2 level uh, troops. They're stronger, they're more uh, attack heavy, I guess. And they're just letting me pretty much beat up uh, their mana spring, which is going to like make it hard for them to build up mana, obviously. Now I'm going to send these archers over here, and they're going to try to work on the tower. Uh, my hero went down, but he'll be back in 14 seconds. Now I'm going to build another defense here and send out some goblins. This, it's, I would recommend getting some goblins going. If you're like a beginner and everything, there's lots of troops that you can get started with, but goblins only cost 8 mana uh, compared to like... The uh, Viking, which costs 24. Yeah. They're stronger, yeah. but I mean, you know, uh, you got to conserve your mana. So what I'm doing here is, is I, I've been building camps, if you haven't noticed. So now I have a capacity of 60 troops. I'm going to go ahead and on the right hand of the screen, send all these goblins over there. Try to take down one of their mana collectors here so that it makes it harder for them. And on the left side, I am coming through with my hero and these uh, Berserkers, which do kind of like splash damage with these Katana Blades they got. And on the bridge, in the background, I've got my, uh, uh, what do you call it? Riflemen. 
And we're attacking their tower, and it's looking bad. I'm emoting, I'm having fun. Bad manners, and... Kaboom. 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 So. What? I, I won my first, um... First deal. As you can see here, this is my first victory. I just... Uh, I'm getting into the uh, PvP side of it, so uh, I apparently win a pack and I did some achievements over here on the left hand side so uh, That's good. We're gonna let that collect and not to lose momentum. Just jump into another battle Maybe this will be a little more difficult because that last one it was kind of easy. I can't lie uh so, let's go ahead and place our mana collector down. Alright, now, uh, so that's going to help with the mana, like I explained last time. Now I'm going to put out a couple of tier 1 uh, troops and buildings into my roster here. And it takes some time for them to load up. Now, I'm going to send out my uh, hero, just to reveal what is happening on the other side make sure there's no secret operations oh there's a couple people coming out of the castle not doing a lot of damage meanwhile i want to build myself uh archer tower so that i have a little more help when they come over to me now let's run back reserve the energy and let's drop this time um actually we need to get a uh, little bit more capacity so my guy here my guy he's, he's he's still got a little bit of help and now we got to drop uh some more troops let's just yeah let's just drop some more troops here and uh they appear to be having the upper hand now that i've got my goblins out see i can quickly just drop those uh down there so, I got to kind of rebuild now. Uh, as they're going over there, the let's let's see. We got 156 mana. Let's send these guys back, and they're going to go add to the capacity. Um, I guess the smart thing would do would be to add everybody in tier 1 that I want to use. Now, I've only got 6 slots, so even though I have three tiers i can only use six slots so that's kind of some of the strategy there kind of seeing what kind of troops your uh you know your uh, uh the guy that you're going up against has and then you know using that knowledge to your advantage and seeing what kind of troop you should have because certain troops are better at combating other troops is basically what i've been trying to say this whole time uh all right so I like the archers because they're 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 good at adding support. So we're both trying to get set up here. I've got a capacity of 40 troops, but my mana is not really where I need it to be at this point in the game. So uh, I'm gonna have to work on that. All right, we got tier three upgrades. I think it is time to uh, let's well let's add a couple. Of tier two guys and I guess that we'll just roll with that uh, probably should have not you know built uh, should have added probably some tier two guys but I wasn't really thinking ahead all right now let's just see how many camps we can get on I think there's a maximum uh, amount of camps that you can have and while they're being distracted over there, not really doing a whole lot about me just uh, owning their side of the map, I'm going to try to get ready and put some more camps down. That's basically what you want to try to do. Now, I don't really have that many defenses. I'll have to kind of work on this. I'm kind of going on the go here, just trying to hold on. Uh, I, I feel like I have the advantage on the board right now, so I'm trying to keep it because things can turn. Now, I am getting rid of their stuff, which is good. And uh, now we're to the point that we're to their tower. Let's let's put some more camps out here, try to see what we can do. 
And it's looking very bad for... Uh, who are we playing against? Cafe? Cafe. And just to kind of be a little funny, I'm going to send everybody... I'm gonna send everybody back, and I'll let them, you know, try to do whatever. And we're just gonna come through with a whole bunch of troops, level two, tier two troops, and just kind of watch them scramble and try to uh, keep their castle from burning. But I like the fact that you can emote. All right, looks like another victory here. This one was a little bit harder than the last one, but it wasn't like entirely too hard. Smith for the win, again. Victory, victory. All right, so uh, I gotta see like what I need to get to in order to be recognized in the rankings. I'm pretty sure I got a ways to go. And we're collecting uh, card packs, so we're going to open that up at the end. Let's get another card pack in there, though. And... Alright, so... Papio... What's his name? Pagio. Pa pa Pagio. We're, we're playing against Pagio, so... Uh, Absolutely mandatory to get some mana out here and a defense. That's pretty much going to be my go to get a defense, get a mana spring to help out, and I guess part three would be to send out my hero just to be an early spy. And I guess later on, I mean, as I develop, you know, my strategy, I can just send like a troop out, but with the way things are set up now, I don't have any troops. So I think it's just easier just to send the hero out, just let him know who I'm working with, you know. And that also doesn't reveal what kind of troop I have, if that's something I guess I want to keep to myself. All right, we're building our first camp. Now this time, we're going to go ahead and add the troops earlier. This is a good combo, the Viking and the Archer. You can kind of do a little, like, Clash of Clan style marching if you guys know anything about Clash of Clans. Um, basically, that's where you send your Vikings out, and because they're stronger, uh, you send them out first, and so they suck up a lot of the damage, you know, from a foe, and then you have your archer come behind them, protect it, and add support. So it's like a basic type of deal there. All right, we need to take out their mana spring, and they don't seem to care. Uh, and meanwhile, we're getting our place set up over here. I'm trying to get a little closer to this third mana spring so that uh, we can be doing even better. All right, so they're trying to do something, but I have my ability activated, and um, things seem to be working pretty good. So. I'm at tier 2, he's still at tier 1, um, which is sucks for him, but, uh, you know, I've upgraded to tier 2, so I got my Berserker out here, I got my Rifleman, we just need to probably add a couple more camps, and then we're gonna be in it, in it, we're gonna be in it. Alright, so, I like the fact that, again, the Goblins... For the win, uh, helping Smith get the win, uh, the goblins, and now we've got the berserkers to see what they can do. Now, I send these archers over the bridge just because, you know, I think that's interesting how you can use the terrain uh, as an advantage. Now, these guys are really trying to bring it, so I gotta kind of be quick. Uh, again, I do have the upper hand with like, you know, the tier, ahead of tier. I'm ahead of tier for them. Um, I'm trying to get to this, this third spring, and I think that'll really help to bring it home. Uh, can't forget about the camps as well. All right, let's get rid of their stupid... Here we go. Let's get rid of their mana spring. You know, if, I, if I'm... They're probably crying on the other end. I mean, I just keep breaking down everything that they got 
Now they're trying to come up against me. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I've got uh, lots of troops in the camp doing push-ups, ready for battle. So, you know, I'm just letting him kind of deal with what I'm doing on his end. And, oh, oh, ability. Meanwhile, my goblins... Yeah, my goblins are eating up their tower. Eating it up. Goblins like to eat. Uh, that's what they do. So, uh, you know what? Let, let me... Yeah, everybody, let's come back. Let's come back. Let's see... Oh, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. Let's see how bad I can make it for this guy. Alright, so he is trying to take out my... Uh, my towers and you see how I, I strategically place them so that he's got to run all the way around the map and you know it just doesn't work out for him how about how about a lot of goblins how many goblins 90 goblins guys Ooh, 90 goblins let's zoom in on the destruction and a couple of a couple of uh, riflemen of course Let's see. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. Smith for the win again. And victory. another victory. Oh, a three win streak. Well, that's nice. You know, one thing I'll say about this game is they sure do make you feel good. A lot of rewards. Uh, and I've got some to open up here. Um, so how do you do this? All right. Oh, just like that, I can open it up with a key. So do you mean I don't have to wait like three hours? Um, or eight? Like some of these games typically do. I have keys. I have to wait on the keys, but I can just open up packs. And that's better than having to wait three hours to open up one pack. Very innovative, guys. Very innovative. Now, do I want to use this last one? What did we get? Oh, another Lupine Berserker. I could probably upgrade him. Gold. Like I said, very generous. And I'm already sitting pretty, pretty nice with like the gold and the uh, rubies, which are the gems, uh, in-game currency rubies. Uh, with that with that prize that they gave me uh, this morning. So let's do some upgrades here. I I'm actually glad to upgrade the Archer Tower because I use it a lot. And then, oh, I, I upgraded my castle as a uh, result. Okay, the bomb, oh yeah. Um, I was playing through the tutorial and they showed me how to use this bomb. It's just like, I mean, pretty like typical. You drop the bomb and it explodes and uh, it's good for killing off low health enemies, a group of them, like goblins, for instance. All right, so uh, there's my heroes. Let's see what else they got here. Stories. Uh, so I guess, is that like the campaign? I don't know. I'll have to check it out later all right and I've got some uh, some rewards that I could get here uh, so lots lots more to go in the game um, by the way if you're just now watching this uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you made it this far you might as well smith for the win that's what the ftw stands for in my name i am a uh content creator I like to play these kind of games oh oh uh, well thank you so i'm gonna be playing this game obviously and I'm going to be making videos for it. If uh, you want to kind of learn the game with me, then let's go. Subscribe. Comment below. Tell me if you're in the game. Uh, tell me your username. And, uh, you know, like this. And if you're on YouTube, share this. Uh, share this video. Let's get it out. Let's get this in front of people. Uh, spread the news about this great game. And, uh... 
that's it pretty much for me. I'll probably work on uh, this video here, uploading it for you guys can see. Oh, I'm number 4,837. Uh, got a ways to go. Got a ways to go. So, uh, we'll get to that. But anyway, peace out, guys. Smith for the win. I'm 